All right, we played some meme decks. It's time to play some extremely successful meme decks. This one is by rad for life forever who is the winner of the uh, Hoagland Historic Open. And this list is really sweet. Let me show you the key combo to it. Hard evidence. Make a crab and a clue. This does stuff whatever we don't care as much. The important thing is that it's one blue to make two creature artifact thingies. Then Indomitable Creativity is X triple red for destroy X target artifacts and or creatures, such as the two created by hard evidence. For each permanent destroyed this way, its controller reveals cards from the top of their library until an artifact or creature card is revealed and then exiles those cards. Those players put the exiled cards onto the battlefield then shuffle. So in other words, we exile the crab and the clue using Indomitable Creativity to get two Sarah's Emissaries onto the battlefield. Now, if Indomitable Creativity resolves, then these two Emissaries are coming to the battlefield no matter what. Because this is not like you may cast those from exile without paying their mana cost. It's just those players put the exiled cards on the battlefield. So what's really nice is that you can get Sarah's Emissary out giving you protection from creatures and instants or protection from sorceries and instants. Whatever it is that you need to be fully protected from your opponent. There's some of the other usual Jeskai control tools such as Lightning Helix for damage, Fire Prophecy for damage. Prismari Command for damage, treasure, and cycling, Anger of the Gods for damage. We have some memory lapse for counters. Um, we have Teferi because, look, this is a good card. Trust me. Just trust me on this one. And some Shark Typhoons and a commit to memory sort of combo uh, action going on. But um, I'm excited to be playing it a little bit. I'm going to play it first in best of one because I want to just at least get a little bit of the hang of it. But we're going to rapidly transition over to best of three because in pretty much any control list, we're more eager to be in a best of three format where we can properly board in our answers and get rid of our useless cards. Ah. All right. I go first. This hand does not seem good. But I actually have a really hard time telling. I think this is kind of a dead one. We don't have any blue mana. I'm going to send it back and wait for something that's just more basic. All right. I'm going to put the hard evidence away, even though it's one of our key combo pieces, because, well, I'm going to put this away. Let, let's try this. Let's try this out. Was the prediction before the break properly resolved? It sure wasn't. Everyone who believed in Tybalt's trickery has won. Maybe I should have played this one first, I actually think. I, I can I, I have a real hard time remembering the land rules. This is unless you control three other mountains. This doesn't do anything if we are a island mountain person. If we're like a Zagoth Trio mountain, that would be two mountains. So Malvadin runs the island and does opt. And normally if I see island opt, I'm going to be working under the presumption that our opponent is some kind of... Okay, put one in the hand. One in the library. One in exile. Good, now we have all of them. I assume that when I see Opt off an island that I'm up against some kind of teamer, excuse me, not teamer, some sort of is it aggro list. Now that we see the planes, I assume it's actually just a super, 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 super hard control list. Be cracking the clue for an investigation over here. I don't want to run out the search for Ascanta because in control matchups, a search for Ascanta is like an absolute amazing card. Dude, you just you just like end the game if you get a search for Ascanta in the control matchups. If, if you flip it. All right, so we're just like straight Azorius, huh? I wish for another mountain because then I can get my Dwarven mine down and get pecking. 
be a pecking boy. Here it comes. It is I, he who pecks. Hello? Such a clue. Nice, memory lapse is good. Start getting some of the counters down now. Oh my god, that news is amazing. Dude, this, this crab, this is like the crab, man. I love this guy. Draw three cards, then discard a card. I think we let this resolve. We don't really have a long-term game plan right now. Dude, look at this guy. I love crabs. I love crabs, man. The art for Reign of Revelation is pretty stunning. Yeah, that's that's actually you once I go live. Huh? Huh, Blue Socks, is this you? Oh, J9! I don't know what these are droplets of, but it's probably saliva. It's an enchantment. It has to be banishing light on this. Probably good enough, because if my opponent then did choose to counter that, then there would be no more available stuffs, ups. Let's put that one in the grave. Oh, I needed a Prismari command, like, immediately there, huh? Go ahead and send the crab in to just show them that we're not messing around, you know? <laughs> dude, dude, the Tybalt's trickery list is just so satisfying, so fun. So absolutely number one. Try one draw card, sure, sure, sure. Shocking it in, eh? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw two cards, create a treasure token. This player and this player. Narset's reversal is... Oh, that's actually incredible. Draw two cards, create treasure. Me, me. Discard two cards. Hmm. Mm hmm. Man, what do I do here? I think I don't need this on that turn, so I can ditch this. Eight, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think if I just get this down, we super duper own. Because do I do protection from sorceries here? I think that might be right if we do protection from sorcery.
just return this one to the hand. This one probably is going to get Dovin's vetoed because... Sure. What do I think is the right play here? This is. I suspect there's like a Dovin's Veto. Wow, okay, sure. Suspicion mostly correct. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's put a stop here. from sorcery doesn't dodge wrath of god oh that's that is right isn't it all right i'll take a planes i'm known for my over so we are we're worried about Memory lapse type things. We did it. Slow this down. Let's tuck tuck goose this. Okay. My opponent's deck is weird. Weird as hell. We're getting close to the memory narset combo, which thinks one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. We get hosed. That's pretty good. I know my responsibility. Let's take it back. All right. A lot of slowing down of things. Oh my god. I, I have been I've been owned. I think instant is the one to go for here. You've seen blink of an eyes, we've seen we've just seen a lot of spells that tuck. A lot of tucking spells. The great right. tuckening. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. This is a sorcery speed, right? All right, well, this is this is pretty reasonable. This is pretty good looking, you know. Hmm. We have one more Sarah's emissary in the deck. Yeah, you're right, Dust Wizard. I I, I looked through and I was because I I knew that the one had been interacted with, but I couldn't remember what it was. But when I saw it, there was no grave, whatnot. I was like, two thumbs up. So no instant speed stuff can come down and deal with this. If there is like a seal away, that's an enchantment. That is good news. How long do you want to wait for a rematch? I mean, I'm, I think I am obligated to play this. Because if I don't play this... If I don't play this, I would play Indomitable Creativity. Okay. That is fine. That is fine. So now we declare creature. Oh. Wait, I... I'm pretty sure Sarah's Emissary is the only one that we have. Pretty sure it's the only one that we have, so let's go creature here. Yeah, so I didn't need a sack too. Is this a mirror? I don't think this is a mirror, Vezroth. I think that there's just a lot of... Okay, well, let's... There you go. I see you. I see you, buddy. Here we go. 
<laughs> I don't see a reason not to just block this straight up. What do we really want here? Not entirely positive. Draw two, then discard two. Hmm. Well, well, well. Yeah, yeah, no. We, we would have won if we... I, I mean, I called it very briefly, but we needed to put a stop here and then Prismari command to discard. And if, we just, if we had Prismari commanded... To discard, then Ascanta would have flipped and we would have been good in the long run. So this this game was certainly a play mistake. Two damage. This player. Alright, I'm out. Well, actually, this does let me draw a card, so that's pretty cool. explain that again? We had six cards in our graveyard, and uh, Search for Ascanta, which is here, flips when there's seven or more in the graveyard. So we needed to put a stop before this thing. At the beginning of your upkeep, we need to put a stop so we could, in response, do this. Activation commencing. Oh, this evidence is so hard. Let me go ahead and duck out of this one. Um, I definitely feel like that was a big play mistake. It caused us pain. That was definitely a play mistake. Because if we had flipped the Ascanta, I mean, it's it's incredibly difficult to lose in Control Mirrors. Because they just do stuff so slowly. And we have the added benefit of Dwarven Mines and uh, Clue Crabs to just uh, block things. Ender Bantu says, definitely a change of pace from the previous deck. Yeah, I know. Previous deck where I'm just cackling like an absolute idiot. All right, here we go. Doink. I wonder how often I just want to shove this back to the bottom of my deck. Probably what Commit to Memory is uh, about in this list. All right, we got the Elfies, Elfie boys. Elfie boys. Maybe include Manlands um, into that list for alternative win conditions. You mean for uh, for this list? I, think I need to iterate expressively to try to get to an anger of the gods. Ooh, this is bad. We have a pretty good amount of win conditions in the list, I'm not gonna lie. Uh oh. Growing rights of Itlamok is very, very good. Ow, ow. Eh. So we pretty much guaranteed win now. Right, I think that's correct. I think the way that we lose is on a swing on this turn. Or if we draw the other Sarah's Emissary. Deal two damage, create a treasure. So we want to kill this. We just want to do this now. Um, we're quite scared about getting just smashed in the face. I think that this 
is going to kill us anyways. Because if this and this is played, then that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Really? Okay, then you do this. And this is three, six, nine. Yeah, fuck. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. I think that the issue in this game was the keep, because when you look at this list, it's actually much lower to the ground than other lists are. Other, like, sort of Jeskai control lists. So I think we made a play error in game one. We made a mulliganing error in game two. Because we were... We win when it gets passed back to us. When it gets passed back to us, we sack that treasure token, get a Sarah's Emissary, name creature, and then we are unable... Like, we, the player, are unable to take damage from creatures. We just win out. So, okay. So I chuck this one back for mana reasons. This one is fine. Commit to memory is the one that doesn't fit. So we basically just go mountain, mountain. We're looking to lightning helix to heal. Black. Huh. Okay, so this is possibly going to be that Bolsa Citadel style list. Lots of healing going on. Sure, sure, sure. Salad Ones is good evening, Sean. How are you doing? I'd like to inform that I've returned from my game jam experience. Well, for any of you that don't know, Salad One is our resident paleontologist. And was interested in participating in a paleontology dinosaur-themed game jam. We talked oodles and oodles and oodles about all the fun stuff that can occur in game jams. And I'd be delighted to know how things panned out. I'm going to go ahead and do this, because I don't really care that much. There's an argument to be made for... Dude, just wait. Because if you wait by cracking the Fabled Passage, that decreases the total number. Uh, by cracking the Fabled Passage, that decreases the total number of um, lands in the deck. Reducing your probability of drawing a land. What I really want to do is draw a land right now. Like what I really, really want to do. And I did it. So this is an enchantment, and this is the one that's actually going to be dealing a lot of damage. So I'm actually going to put on a brief hold to doing some sort of hard evidence into Indomitable Creativity play on this turn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot the Woe Strider, draw and discard, shoot, draw and discard. Because once we declare creature and enchantment, we no longer take damage. Yeah. Ditch to fairy. I I, I should have made a uh, treasure. A little bit simpler. Ay 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 ay. A little annoyed at my sequencing, but that's okay. Solid one says, Game Game Jam was quite interesting, to say the least. Program one of the artists stepped down the first day, so the game designer ended up making the game, and another artist had twice the job. But we made a tag game of a herbivore being chased by a carnivore. And both had one sprite and they moved without moving. But it was a dinosaur game. Hell yeah, Salad One! That's exactly why that shit works! Oh my god, yeah. Is greed good? Oh, I think greed is bad in this case. Nice. We're doing this. Try to get another land drop. 
doing this because we didn't. Sounds like a tried and true game jam experience right there, man. That sounds very game jammy to me. Accept this damage. Ooh. Fucking goose is on the loose. Thank God. Okay. Does that just kill us? First one is creature. Second one is instant. I, I still worry that we're going to lose to this one. Lightning Helix will help a great deal. Because this is just each opponent loses one life. This is different from target opponent loses one life. And I kind of thought this was target opponent loses one life. Oh my god, we are doing it. We are doing it so hard. Enter's tap. Bang. So we will swing in the skies and hope this guy dies. Oh, it feels so good to be protected from everything. Solid One says, It was stressful, but very enjoyable. I was frantically seeking info about dinosaurs that were useful for a game. <laughs> Uh, they were useful for a game like that, and I loved it. Yeah, man, I, I find that whole frenetic experience really fun. And I find that this is what kind of separates the succeeders from the stagnators. Is, you know, you start a game jam, and it's very easy to be like, Alright, let's do this, let's go, and I think we should go in this direction. You want to go in a different direction? Ah, oh, screw you, I quit. You know, because you're not getting paid, it's not your job, like, who cares, you don't have to... I don't have to button up and, like, do anything. Like, there are game jams that I've participated in. Only where I'm, like, the only person on my team. Let's do a little solo thing. Where I'm just like, all right, let's do this. And, like, midway through day two, I'm like, fuck this game jam. And I just quit and I watch TV. Typically with pizza and beer. Because that's how I reward myself after giving up on a challenging game jam. So, like, you know. Um, I, 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 I understand... And in many regards, support. I go first? I have this? I'm against Luris? I think I need to mulligan this. I see Luris, which is generally used in very excellent. Don't need that much hard evidence, you know. Generally used in uh, Azorius Auras lists are the ones that I'm thinking. So what I find really nice, yep, yeah, great, perfect, 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 perfect. So what I think is nice about game jams is you can be like, oh my gosh, we're screwed, time to as aggressively as possible force this damn thing into existence. Creatures entering the battlefield no longer enter the battlefield. All right, cool. Um, deal two damage. Draw two, discard two. I'll pass. I'll pass, I'll pass, I'll pass, I'll pass. 
Hushbringer Rex your um, protection angels? I don't think so. I think it's as they enter the battlefield, not uh, they enter the battlefield and then the thing triggers. So it's the difference between an enter the battlefield effect and what's known as a replacement effect. Draw to create a treasure, me and me. I need to declare myself. Um, not this one. Incredible, actually. This is like an absolute gin card in this matchup. We've drawn the nest. We've drawn an absolute smacker of a card. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. And then I'm going to crack this and redraw. We are in the control zone. We have Anger of the Gods to be able to delete some of these threats, but... I'm really curious about this blue mana. Fine. I think it's probably better actually to dig. Double Savior is going to make it indestructible, anyways. Hey. Lightning Helix, huh? out of here. Is there any ordering in which this actually functions? Cast the sacrifices itself. No, let's go put it in the graveyard. No, get, get out of here. Dude, come on. Come on, get out. Alright, there you go. She knows she's not supposed to chew on that. She knows better. Five, so we need seven in the bin, huh? I think this is probably the best way to go about doing this, to help guarantee and maximize the probability of getting there. Could have used Anger and hope he didn't sack the Savior. I mean, he's gonna, he's gonna sack the Savior no matter what. So now we, no matter what our opponent casts, we memory lapse it to fill the bin. All right, graveyard, transform. Red. Okay, so we're going to go red. Blue. Red. Look. Alright. A lot of memory lapsing incoming. No attacks. This is a little bit annoying. Oh, 
Oh, I think we made mistakes. Oh my god, this list is wildly bizarre to pilot. I can see why it won, though. It, it clearly has, like, a huge amount of power in it. What was the mistake not killing this thing early on? Relapse. All right. Bang. Let's just draw right off the top and end the game, huh? Let's just end it. Let's just end it. Oh my god, Agent Crablar. Come on. And I guess this. And then this is where we're going to get it, and this is where it's going to get countered. Okay. Hand. Deck. Exile? There's no reason to not wait. Oh, wait, shit. I need to cast this, like, right now. I'm a dum-dum. Please, please. Oh, God. Oh, God, I just passed through. This is going to go into exile. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Since your Zeus is now as Azorius Auras, it doesn't run counter magic. There are some Azorius Auras lists that do. Some Azorius Auras lists do. It's one of the big reasons that uh, blue is commonly splash for. Just screamed at the screen. Yeah, I, I don't think it would have saved us. Ay 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 ay. All right. Okay. 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 Yeah, but a uh, memory lapse is used a lot because it is such a strong and consistent counter spell. Like, it just always, always, always... I think we actually name Mountain here. And then crack out the Lightning Helix. But yeah, yeah, it, it's... I mean, it's two. That's the, the big thing. Anything that costs two is rad. Okay, so we're going to be up against... This is not an aggro list, huh? Yeah, it's a two-mana counter that basically hits everything. And also, it um, has a sort of side effect, which increasingly has become one of the sort of main effects, one of the main reasons to run that. It's just so good to know, for a fact, what's going to be on top of your opponent's hand. Faithless looting, really? No unburial rights? None of this stuff? Doing it. Joink. joink. There is so many Sarah's emissaries in this damn graveyard. Where's my Bajuka Bog, man? I gotta switch to best of three, because I think that I'm just gonna have a much, much, much better time if I start doing best of three. Gonna 
memory laps the unburial rights, man. Bellamachus. Okay. through and then I think that I think we're just gonna do X equals two and get both the Sarahs one two sack this this auto pay so what we want is we want creature Instant. I think this is right. So now, Sarah Emissary has protection against creatures, so no one's doing fucking nothing to anybody here. So what we need to get is we need to get to Fairy. So we just we're just gonna chill for a very very long time. <laughs> this would be six. Work yet, yeah, commit would work. Mr. Felrise does something. Graveyard? Transform? So we can't quite kill this guy. Can't quite. Thomas Frost's protection from creatures maybe the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Well, Jumpstart Historic Horizons, I feel like, is them over-adding cards, and we're going to see just bands and bands and bands till the end of the year. Which I think is a really interesting and compelling way to do stuff. Unearth. Gains haste. Let's see what they do. What's it gonna name? Oh shit. Yeah, I, I, gosh, I always forget it's an ETB effect. It doesn't really matter that much. Yeah, I mean, the, the they also have the option of doing balance patches for these, which is fantastic. So, I kind of like that they're erring on the side of insanity, initially. So my opponent is not, not named Planeswalkers, which is fucking terrific. Okay, so let's do this first. We literally just need to get to Fairy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So let's... This in the hand. That in the library. This in the there. What? Oh, 
Holy shit, I can't cast this fucking spell. I can't cast this because it has no targets. <laughs> Everything has protection. That's fucking excellent, man. So, Villain also has the last Sarah's Emissary in the bin. So if they declare Planeswalker, I don't really know what we do now. Stitcher's Supply are incredible. Good old protection, the worst keyword in magic. It's like it almost makes sense, but then you think about it a little bit and you're like, this doesn't fucking make any sense. I mean, the big thing is that you probably go, well, I would lose if there's a sweeper. Let's just get to Fairy and end this. Memory lapse. Come on, Teferi, Teferi. Very nice. Very, very cool. Everyone has protection from creatures. This is incredible. Teferi Elm gets around protection. I'm just going to do Teferi minus three and immediately kill them. And I have memory lapse up for anything that is bad. I mean, they might just mill out. <laughs> Historic is hot gas, man. This is a gassy, gassy format. Yeah, I mean, we have 35 cards, 34 cards. They have 16. Historic is a place of insanity. Sure. Absolutely, that's fine. Right now, we basically have protection from each other, but there. Oh, we won. Oh, ho, 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 yes. Oh, my goodness. So, this is the one creature, instant, sorcery. It's Teferi. And we tuck this one that says creature. So now we have protection from creatures. They don't have protection from creatures. They can't block. We win. Yay! <laughs> yes! All right, I'm going to go to best of three because I'm feeling the just generalized weakness. Uh, traditional. Ah, no, 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 not with trickery. Not with Tibble's trickery. Not with Tibble's trickery. Shoo, shoo. Ah, uh, do some stretches. Ah, uh, do some stretches. Ah, uh, do some stretches. So sometimes I have no idea what's going on here. Yeah, that that was that was like one of these semantics overload things where like I I have a great game and I want to like go share with my wife. I cannot even begin to explain what happened. At least it's still not as abstract as Go. Like Go, you play a good game of Go, and I win and I'm like, yeah, it was amazing. But it's like, oh my god, tell me what happened, and I'm like. It was a back and forth game and I won. Bono <laughs> goes first. Alright, let's hang on to this. Sharafitia.
lot of our elves. So we play the Dwarven Mine first so that we can shock in the Steam Vents to just leave up a memory lapse if we so desire. No. No, that's actually not what we want to do, especially when we see this happen. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this, so we're going to crack it for probably red. Because we just want lots and lots and lots of red. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Red! I want to change the card art on this. I mean, I think this is just game right here. I think the only just going to up and dip. Yep. Oh, these are some great cards. All right, so we, we, we want Elish Norn, Grand Cenobite. Creatures your opponent control get minus two, minus two. We want the Wraths of God. What do we not want? Search for Iskanta is a very control sort of card. Um, probably don't need this commit to memory against an aggro list. Shark Typhoons. Uh, I don't know how much graveyard interaction this guy's going to have. Well, I, don't, I think we don't need that many rest in pieces. Like peeling a Teferi out and putting in a Shark Typhoon seems reasonable. Not doing it also seems reasonable. I just think that as a person, I'm reasonable. Oh, we want these unholy heats here for sure. Yeah. I'm going to cut these little puppies. You know, actually, I'm going to peel the memory lapses. I'm going to put in the shark typhoons. I'm going to put in the teferis, man. Where, where are my teferis at? They're right there. They're literally in the deck. Very cool. Very, very awesome. Excellent. Superb. Put in a single memory lapse. I mean, we basically just have, like, a stack of removal, huh? GB Jabber says, good morning from Australia. Good morning, you beautiful bean. Welcome. How are things down in the... Just way, just, you're fucking way down there. And how, how is it? Stop dodging me. Like, tell me, tell me right now. <laughs> Good day, mate. In lockdown, and we hope to keep you company during lockdown, GB Jabber. All right, well let's 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 do what I was born to do and shoot pelt collectors, shall we? I'm going to deal two damage, destroy target artifact. I'm just going to do this. This Scrap Heap Scrounger is an artifact, so I want my opponent to play another thing that has two power so I can, like, zap it and blow it up. Easy, easy peasy lemon squeezy. It's made of lemons. When life gives you lemons, you just fucking win the game. God, drools everywhere. It's disgusting to just be near me when I'm talking. Hey. Beautiful cheeses, I'm from New Zealand in lockdown as well for another two weeks, but getting my second vaccination today, so not that afraid. Well, as America was in quite a lockdown for quite a while of time, I wanted to let you know the biggest thing you gotta fear in lockdown is boredom. You just stay safe, you just wash those little handies, and we'll keep you coming. LGTM. So, what is the first card we play? Hmm. <clears throat> I think it's actually okay to leave this one back for now. I think that's actually okay. The fact we have Steam Vent Sacred Foundry is 
really good. My entire says I got a message from my doctor recommending a third jab, so I have that scheduled. Well, I'm in a wee bit of a little baby pickle for babies. I got the Pfizer. I'm going to do this right now. I think that maybe that's overly fearful because I have anger of the gods, but... It's actually slow enough. So, so I don't know if I should get additional jabs as a Pfizer boy. Holy crap. Oh my god, that is awesome. Holy crap. Nice. Oh my gosh, that's so incredible. Holy cow. Wow. Whoa. Dude, we are losing. I mean, we're going to have a very good anger of the gods. That's for certain. What? This car just defeated us. In full. For, yeah, I mean, I guess we're just going to do this, huh? Wow, I've never, I've, this is this is again one of the fun things about playing historic. You see a card and you're like, I've never seen this card before, and it just blows us up. Again, if I just get my wind spell. Ooh, we just win. Yeah. Oh, iterate expressively. And library exile. So we have to get the island in this one, right? Cast Prismari Command. So we want to, so let me look at this. Right now, there's 4, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. If we do 16 minus 4, 16 minus 4. Sixteen minus four. What do I think about this? That's twelve. I think my goal is literally just to get lucky. Treasure discard. Bam, bam. No tax. Anything but a land on the top of this puppy. Huh. Joy. Zoinks. We have died. All right, so this is an aggressive deck. Okay, unholy heat. Let's do it. Elish Norn, Wrath of God. Yeah, we don't need these commits. We don't need these search for his contos. We don't necessarily need what else. Probably Teferi. Teferi, I don't think we want right here. Memory lapses. Maybe I do want the memory lapses. I think I'm going to leave the memory lapses in. Is that what I think? Ah! Shark and memory lapse. Why not? Oh my god. Covert Go Blue just raided us with 316. Covert 316 is joining us. 
Well, Cover, what a treat to have you here. For any of you who don't know, Cover Go Blue uh, is a Magic the Gathering streamer that if you go to YouTube and look up Covert Go Blue, Cover Go Blue does a huge variety of decks, often just devoting the day to. Uh... Oh my god, I hate this hand. Do I mulligan this? I think I do. All right. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know what to do here. Curve of Go Blue does lots of super unique decks, sometimes spends the whole day adjusting and tuning it, then uploads the gameplay and guidance to the YouTube. I've watched a good amount of Curve of Go Blue vids. We even played some of Curve of Go Blue's decks over here. Things are looking very creative where I am. Oh my god, we needed them last game. <laughs> okay, looks like this was a quick go of things. Would have thought. <laughs> Starfix Soul gifts cover go blue sub club. Welcome, CGBB. Man, we are unbelievably super dead. Sometimes it's what happens. Well, you know, if. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh. Okay, there are some new cards that hurt quite a bit. Nothing hurts quite as much as not drawing land. Oh! It's okay. We got a trivially easy win against an aggro list, then we got a trivially easy loss. Hey, this looks like a legitimate hand. Opponent goes first. This hand actually is not that good. I have to chuck it back because we don't have a token generator. We don't have a lot of stabilizers early on. This hand's actually quite a bit better. One, two. Mm, this is a mountain. Let me just pull the island out of here, huh? Hello. Yeah, I feel like I really need my dual foundry boys. My dual foundry babies. Steam Vents, Sacred Foundry, all the proper dandy landies that actually have Mountain in their name. Well, well, well. See, I still, I still haven't quite settled on what it is I want to play on this here day. Friday. I still don't know what I want to do on Friday this week. I still do not know. Hate to draw that one. Hate to do it. Making treasure drawn and discarding, huh? So we see Boros colors. Not really sure what to make of this. Easy. Finish control. Well, I don't think it'll take us that long. Discard, I don't know, this one? This one? We'll get the dwarf in mind, which is nice. I don't know. Yeah, is there, is there a good RTS game? Like, that has some fun and interesting single player? Restoration Age. To 
see Restoration Angel back. The Pathfinder, Wrath of the Righteous. I mean... Elite Spellbinder. There's just nothing that's, like, counter-worthy. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just delete. I should send this one back. I just want something that has a lot of gameplay. Just like a lot, like a rich, intense gameplay. Damn, that's a bad bone crush. Well, that's the game. I have a really hard time with this list. It just, it, it seems so hard to get to work. I'm just looking for a nice, intense little experience. So I have to block like this, yeah? It would have been nice to be able to play this, but alas, 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 alas. Yeah, I mean, this is kind of a kind of a bland one. Super Metroid. I want something that's easy to set up too. It's friggin' easy to set up. All right, so let's see here. We want Elish Norn, Wrath of Gods. We want Unholy Heat. And then let's peel out, commit, search for his contas. I actually do want to keep these memory lapses in here. I'm I'm really unsure how to treat memory lapses in aggro matchups. Maybe I should just hang on to them. Huh? Shark Typhoons. Northgard already played. Yeah, Akron. Maybe. Maybe check out Akron, but no one's ever heard of Akron. Path of Exile. You can't really play Path of Exile fully for just six hours. Banner Saga. Banner Saga is slow as hell. Slow as hell. Banished. God, I really liked Banished. I remember when I first got Banished, I literally, like, I played it, and then I ended playing it, and then I got dinner, and I came home, and I played it till, like, four in the morning. Straight up, we've already played Iron Harvest. You can see it on my YouTube. Um, we, uh, yeah, I played it till, like, three or four in the morning, then slept, then woke up, ate lunch, and then just played it till four in the morning again. Went to bed, woke up on Sunday, and just like played it for most of the day and was like, man, I gotta, I gotta go to bed. I have work in the morning. Where have you been all this time? I don't think I'm in a hurry to smash this down. Pyrex says, you only play PC games on stream pretty much. Um, we play a variety of things, but this week I'm in the mood for something that's a little easier, more gentle, more straightforward to set up. Let's see what they send back. This is that new Ninja Battle Royale game looks fun. Oh yeah, Nautica Blade Point. Ooh, yeah, maybe I should try out some Nautica Blade Point. That one looks ridiculous. Deal two damage, draw two, discard two. Great. Go ahead and leave my crab bar back. Did you ever play the StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void campaign? Sure did. Loved it. 
Riding, God of the Worthy. So we have Sorcery, Instant. Get some land in there. Let's do this. Uh, hand. Library. Exile. My Dane, man, all these white cars are just owning me. Ugh. I mean, I'm just gonna do this now. Ever heard of Secrets of Grind yet? Yeah, I actually streamed that. With a buddy. Why is everything just so expensive? Oh my god, we're saved. Kind of. Oh, thank god, Anger of the Gods. Let's just... Sarah's Emissary. Huh? But he's doing a lot of... Money. Little Chandra Torch of Defiance. The best fire starter there is. <laughs> Today's my lucky day. All right. Expressive iteration. Choose one. Hand. Library. Exile. Red. All right, so. This will be easy. All right, what's coming, Stooks? This is actually really a simple game. Nice. Create a treasure. Deal two. Bang. Treasure. Easy. Creature. About twelve minutes. We are we are already streaming that Allied yep. Russian. Already. It is already. Something we just we just do it. I think I will I this. play this. Yes. Yeah, I don't know. For some reason like this is the same problem I was having when I was looking at um stuff to play. I don't know, just like nothing really felt good, you know? It's just kind of like, eh. So we should get Elish Norn out of this. Okay. I'm feeling really restless, you know, gamey wise Hundred Steam games, nothing to play. Well, things that like I there's the games I like, you know. I like my Dota. I like my I like my magic, you know. Danto Vanguard. An RA draw. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I, I, I don't. Maybe I'll just go live and figure it out as I'm live. You know what I mean? Slow me down, baby. Sarah's emissary, really? Okay.
kind of feel like we need the clue. Hang on to this crab. Very good crab. My favorite crabs. N.A. I just thought we might. Bang! Treasure, two damage. I actually need to draw two and deal two. I think this is right. I think I just really, really, really need to discard this. Yeah, I think this is right. I think this is right. Because now, now we still have this clue and this Adanto Vanguard. You have to pay life. Start making it block. So I can leave this up for later. No blocks. All good, all good. This is correct. All right, so I'm just doing this now. I don't even care. I don't even care. Alright, no attacks. So now, now I gotta actually do some legit blockings. Gross. Unbelievably gross. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. Glory bringer. Ah! Well, that's death. Man, I'm finding this list a challenge to pilot. It's alright. It's alright. I feel, I feel us uh, slowly getting better. It's just weird to know how, the degree to which I want to be diving really hard towards the combo or not. Really interesting list. But I think I think we're pulling it together. I think we're pulling it together. All right, this is this is the list. We're doing it like we did it. This is it. Like we can't lose. We cannot lose this. We have dwarven mind and dominable creativity. We're doing it. Except we're against control list. Like this is not good. This is terrible. I hate this. Horrible. It's absolutely horrible. Oh gosh. This, it was so much more interesting and entertaining when we were just throwing out Tybalt's trickeries, you know? Keep a seven lands hand? Yes, because Dwarven Mind generates the 1-1. One, one. Indomitable Creativity will uh, generate the Mondo Lass. Although, we, we were playing this exact list. This is Gabriel Nassif's Azorius Control style list. Alright, so I kind of messed up, huh? I feel like we will lose this one initially, so I think that we want Planeswalker. I think that's right, because now that it's down, there's not a lot of answers that Villain has, except for um, Wrath of God. So with Planeswalker, they could like play a Teferi and Tuck, but since I have protection from that, that's okay. I have just the trick for this. 
Aurora Tides Fury? I guess that's good that I have frickin' protection from planeswalkers, huh? This was overwhelming. I'll do this. I need to play a little bit. I think I need to be a little bit more controlly than I am. Because I've been sort of just like, well, it's fine, we'll just take damage because we're shooting for the combo. But I think the even though the combo can come up fast, I think it's like really, really, really slow. With just four copies. All right, all right. Expressive iteration, eh? All right, so let's just go in. Yep. Um. Okay. And now we're just in a control matchup, huh? All the storm giants are a little bit of an issue. A lot of bit of an issue. Okay. Man, if I had waited a turn and I could have gotten Teferi Teferi quite contrary out, that would have been slick. How do you work? My summons are magnificent. You may sack a creature if you do make an 8 8 blue Kraken creature token. Oh my god, that's that's totally rad. I gotta be honest, I'm not sure I understand this list. You fight well. I like that. I am not sure. Oh, Neurobot Link is lying. Timeout, Neurobot. Bad bot. I mean the list is clearly good. It just won a tournament, but I'm finding this like I I, I don't think you I have the mental model for how to play this properly. Because now I'm never going to get this Teferi down. <laughs> Even babies will be too much for you. I'm just going to concede to the sideboarding. Okay, so we can peel away the removal spells. That's pretty clear. And then we can add in Mystic Disputes, Narsets, this, Nazal. Very simple sideboarding plan. Good. Probably historic so far. You know, it, it just feels kind of unbalanced right now, but it's still pretty fun. Yeah, I'll be on the play. I think I'm not going to play this that much longer because, I mean, I really just don't feel like I truly get it. Alright. Snapcaster Mage Legal. Oh, how I wish. Oh my god, how we all wish it were. Oh, oh. Yeah, I, I, the instant I threw out the land tapped, I was like, oh, God. Oh, this is obviously going into the side, but, you know, I think that this one is hand, deck, exile. 
And in this matchup, I just think we're going to want blue. My little friend. Oh, Sheriff is my littlest friend. Search for Azkanta. If you're searching, I'm searching. We're all searching. Baby. Ugh. See what happens here. Ike Visa the Sheriff is your littlest friend. Who's your biggest friend? Myself. Yeah, I think I'm going to call this list quits, because I, 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 I just... I'm finding myself very lost as to, like, how to strive towards the various power levels that appear to be options, but I don't know how to get to them, really. I am my largest friend. I mean, not drawn yet. Oh, we have Nezahal Primal Tide Man. Fuck yeah. Discard two cards. Sarah Emissary, get the heck out of here. Alright, we have Neza Hall Primal Tide. This is awesome. Spell can't be countered. Yeehaw. That... That doesn't feel good. Doesn't feel good. I know Didn't get countered. You know what? I know. ay 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 Yeah. Give me my dang search. All right, so I need to keep these in the hand. Oh. How many do I have in here? I already have eight, so this is transforming. Great. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah, that's transforming. My stuff's transforming. We're all transforming. Hurry. Hurry, pick up the pace. Blah, blah, blah. Decline and transform. Decline and transform. Decline and transform. Come on, search for his contest. Come on, get there, baby. Nothing is happening. Library. Transform. The thing that does suck is that whenever opponent casts a non-creature spell, draw a card. I have to discard three to flicker the little Nezahal pal. Which stinks a little bit. It's okay. I just don't want to haul the Storm Giants. That's gonna that's gonna roast us. Oh, that's right. You can do that stuff. All right. Yeah, get me out of here. I hate this deck. This deck sucks. Official ruling. It's a championship tier deck that we just don't know how to pilot. And losing feels bad. We're going to switch. But we're going to switch after a little miniature break because I need to use the restroom again. But I need to go a little bit more than I did.